everyone, welcome back to Decorate Your Table with Brenda. Today's table is our second Mother's Day table. Last week was the pretty pink. This week we're going for a more elegant, refined look. We're going with dark greens and whites. Today's centerpiece is I wanted to pay tribute to the beautiful mothers in my life. All have passed away and are no longer with us. So this week's flower arrangements, I wanted to incorporate pictures of the moms that were so important to me. So this is my mom and me. This is my mother-in-law, my son Adam, and the last picture there, I'm the baby, and that's my mother and my grandmother. So let me show you how to make these arrangements. Before I started my three center pieces, I took the time to divide out all of my flowers and my leaves evenly. So I done three bunches of everything. And that way I knew I had enough flowers for each center piece, but I didn't want to put them all in the same place. The only thing that's almost in the same place are the leaves. And I just started by doing a circle of leaves all the way around and making sure it was mostly full. Then I started by adding in my flowers. Like I said, I wanted each arrangement to be a little different, even though they're all using the same flowers. So then I just started setting in my, my flowers, making sure they're kind of evenly spread out. I didn't really have a this has to go in this place. I just kind of started setting in and out. And remember with these, you can always go back and change things around and move things around. If it's not what you were, if it's not looking the way you want it. To put my pictures in the foam, I simply push them right into the foam until they stayed and the flowers will help hold them in place too. So along with my flowers, I have an assortment of little um, baby's breath. I just kind of tucked in and out and this is where you start filling in spaces. some of this eucalyptus and I like the shape off it and there it adds a nice organic touch to the, to the flowers. Like I said beforehand I separate it so that everybody gets two of these they may not go in in the same places. And I also have these little I think they were actually a Christmas decoration but I use them a lot. berries and then last I kept some of these little crystal beads again and I'm just going to put them in because they add a little bit of sparkle you got to go in and out of the leaves to get them in so we do this that's our arrangement done. When they're finished, they're all the same flowers and all the same leaves, but they're just differently put in and differently laid out, which makes each one of them just that little bit different. They're individual like the people in them. So when I was thinking of these decorations, I wanted to make them look, they had the feeling of a wedding cake, so I wanted them layered and tiered up. So I'm using just a little bowl and a candy dish and that's going to help lift things up. I didn't want them too high in the air. So let me set them on. So as you can see this gives them a nice balance. Now I'm going to add some candles. So these glass candlesticks add a really nice finishing touch. So I'm placing them kind of in the spaces between the flowers. That gives a nice balanced look to the whole thing. And now with the magic of video, we're going to set the table. So our table setting is actually pretty simple. We used a nice gold charger, a pretty white plate with a gold trim, and it matches the gold trim that's on our tea set. 
we've also got our champagne glass and our water glass and just a plain white serviette and we're all ready for dinner. I hope you like this table. If you're getting anything out of these, please hit like and subscribe and join me next week. We're going to do a disco themed table, so that should be a lot of fun.